We live in an age of technology. Everywhere we look, technology has been seamlessly integrated into our everyday lives. Cell phones allow us to communicate with one another around the world, capture moments we wish to remember forever, and access unlimited information from the palm of our hand. Advancements in medical technology have given us the ability to detect illnesses faster, cure diseases, and take new steps into the future. Cars, trains, and airplanes have revolutionized our ability to get from one point to another. And now, with advancements in aerospace engineering, travel between planets is closer to reality than ever before. Technology is intertwined in everything we do, yet it is so easy to overlook what took place to create these vast technological advancements. Today, we are going to give you a look inside PVA's Lean Manufacturing Facility located in Half Moon, New York. Founded in 1992, PVA began as a valve manufacturer and over the next 30 years, grew into a leader of controlled dispensing equipment, equipment that is now utilized by the world's largest aerospace, automotive, medical, and electronics companies. This facility manufactures a wide range of conformal coating and dispensing equipment vital to the electronics manufacturing process. Today, we will be taking a look at the Delta 8 conformal coating and dispensing platform. The Delta 8 is part of PVA's Direct Series line. Direct Series is a lean manufacturing process featuring pre-engineered solutions that allow customers the flexibility to acquire new equipment customized for their application with shorter lead times. The Delta 8's robust multi-axis motion platform can be utilized for conformal coating and a wide range of dispensing applications, such as gasketing, potting, underfill, and jetting. Just as there are a variety of stages that go into manufacturing cars, phones, planes, and medical equipment, there are multiple steps that go into building our Delta 8 platform. Each Delta 8 platform begins its life cycle as an extruded aluminum frame, which is moved from the queue area on our production floor to a pre-build station by one of our mechanical assembly technicians. The pre-build station is equipped with all of the required sheet metal for a base Delta 8 platform. The sheet metal on these carts has all been manufactured by PVA's dedicated machining and fabrication shop. With both the frame and all necessary sheet metal at a station, a team of two assembly technicians work together to start assembling the base of the machine. At this time, a specialized technician will begin assembling the gantry system, which will be installed by the two technicians working on the base platform. The head and conveyor assemblies, which will be installed in the next stage of the assembly line, are also assembled, tested, and placed on the project storage rack. Additional parts and components placed on these storage racks have been pulled and organized by an inventory team member as specified by the engineered build documents. These storage racks will move along with the base of the machine as it goes through the assembly process. Once a base Delta 8 platform has been fully assembled, it will be moved to one of our mechanical integration stations for further assembly. A mechanical technician will secure the pre-tested and assembled head to the Z-axis of the internal gantry. Once the head assembly is installed, the mechanical technician will run pneumatic lines from the various valves, Z-slides, and rotors to the bulkhead of the gantry system. With the head assembly installed, a technician will move to the next step of the build process. PVA offers a variety of conveyor systems that can be integrated into a Delta 8 platform. Before installing the conveyors, a mechanical technician will reference drawings designed by a PVA engineer. The drawings contain preset measurements for the conveyor mounting blocks, rails, and any components that will be mounted to the conveyors. While referencing the drawings, a mechanical technician will make measurements on the frame of the Delta 8's internal work area and conveyors. These measurements are used for mounting the rear conveyor's rail assembly and the front conveyor's fixed mounting blocks. Making exact measurements during this step is crucial, as the conveyors need to be perfectly squared to function optimally. 
With the conveyor assembly mounted as specified, a technician will begin the pneumatic line and cable management process for any hardware secured to the conveyor assembly. Board stops, locators, and lifts all have dedicated pneumatic lines and pre-tested sensor wires, such as those found on the head assembly. The control lines for the rear conveyor's components are run together and given sufficient length to account for the multiple positions the rear conveyor may be adjusted. After being properly managed and secured, the technician will route the wires and pneumatic lines to their designated locations within the machine. Pre-labeled pneumatic lines are run to the back of the machine and secured inside the machine's air manifold. Pre-labeled wires are run to the machine's electrical enclosure and zip-tied into a bundle. With the head and conveyor assemblies installed, the technician will secure the sheet metal siding of the machine. The lower siding is installed first and will act as a support while a technician installs the upper siding. Prior to installation, the upper siding of the machine is fitted with a bellows and bellow brackets that will be secured to the rear conveyor. Once secured, the bellows acts as an added layer of protection during machine operation. Before the final piece of siding is installed, a technician from our valve department will begin plumbing the valves on the machine. Plumbing refers to the installation of fluid delivery lines from the valves to the rear of the machine. These material lines move to the back of the machine and are secured to a bulkhead. Bulkheads can be configured to meet a wide variety of applications and begin their assembly process in tandem with the pre-build stages of a Delta 8. Beginning the assembly process at the same time ensures that the fluid delivery system is ready to be installed as the mechanical technician concludes their part in the assembly process. Now that the Delta 8 has been mechanically assembled and has passed its preliminary quality control test, it will move on to the next stage of the assembly line. The machine and electrical components specified in the build documents are moved to a dedicated lift station by one of our electricians. Hydraulic lifts are utilized by our electricians to bring each machine's enclosure to an ergonomic height while the machine's components and cables are being integrated. Electrical schematics for the machine are contained in a packet along with the other build documents designed by our engineers. Before the electrician begins wiring, they will print off all necessary labels and lay out all required components that are specified in the machine's build documentation. With the required components installed, the electrician will begin prepping all various cables that have been run to the enclosure during mechanical assembly. With the cables prepped, the electrician will begin routing each cable through the wireway of the enclosure. The path of each wire is dictated by its required power and which components the cable will communicate with. Heat shrink labels that identify power and function are secured to each cable's wires before they are integrated. These labels are specified by the electrical schematics and are referenced if the machine requires troubleshooting. Once the electrician completes the integration, the machine will go through a power and continuity check. This preliminary check ensures the machine meets the required voltage and frequency that has been specified by the engineer. After the electrician has confirmed that the machine meets the required specifications, another member of the department will peer review their work. With the machine's mechanical and electrical stages complete, it will then be moved to a debug and programming station. This stage of the Delta 8's life cycle will bring the machine to life. A team member will start by inserting a USB drive into the machine. This drive contains the necessary files and programs that the machine requires to perform its tasks as specified by the engineering team. The drive will communicate to the PC that is located in the bottom of the machine. The machine's PC began its base assembly and programming as the Delta 8 was being mechanically assembled. With the programs installed on the PC, a team member will begin the initial testing of the machine's functionality. The team member will place the Delta 8 in a cycle run state. Cycle runs are performed to identify any required adjustments before the machine moves to quality control and quality assurance. When a machine has completed its debug and programming stage, it will be moved by a quality control team member for its final inspection. During its life cycle at PVA, a Delta 8 will go through a quality check and peer review at each station before it reaches this station. These checks are performed to ensure that if any adjustments need to be made in this station, they are minimal. 
A quality control team member will start by giving the machine a thorough inspection for any adjustments that may have been overlooked during the assembly process. Errors that are found with the machine will be added to a punch list by a quality control team member. PVA's Kaizen team tracks data and performs root cause analysis and follow-up training when necessary as part of our continuous improvement process. A quality control team member assigned to the machine will take photos to document the finalized state of the machine. These photos are archived in the project folder for future reference if needed, and the team member will submit a sign-off form. The sign-off form will notify the necessary heads of each department that the machine is ready for crating and shipping. Upon receiving the sign-off notification, a logistics team member will move the machine and external fluid delivery systems to our shipping area. As the logistics team member works through the prep and crating process, they will take photos documenting their work and the state of the machine. After the machine and external fluid delivery system have been prepped, our crating and shipping team will carefully secure the machine inside a shipping crate. Once the crate and its internal contents are prepped, the Delta 8 is ready to ship. Equipment and options available in PVA's Direct Series are always expanding. Design a solution in minutes, knowing your order will go directly into production and ship to meet the demands of your manufacturing schedule. For more information on how the Direct Series can help you meet your manufacturing needs, contact your local PVA sales representative.